have a chair to like fold my body into today. I'm very open and I'm very vulnerable. I'm standing because we have something very exciting. You saw the title. I'm going to be showing you my outerwear collection and talking about why each jacket is my friend. I've decided to indulge myself in a little fashion video because I do have this beautiful outerwear collection. This jacket here is my best friend and I'm gonna tell you why. And to spice it up, I'll throw in a little explanation, what kind of memories we have together, we can reminisce, we can be nostalgic about going outside and going to different places. <laughs> if you don't know who I am, my name's Izzy, welcome to my channel. Yeah, I'm by no means a fashion guru, but I love looking at people's collections and just like it when people talk about things that they love and I love these. So if you like like the energy, the vibe right now, go ahead and keep watching and maybe you can subscribe and stick around if you want to see more videos. Let's get started. Actually, let's start with the most recent one. Now, actually, is it a betrayal to start with this one? Let's not start with this. Let's start with this. Old Faithful. I've worn this to formals, I've worn this while traveling, I've worn this to concerts, I've sweat through this, I've worn this to bars, family get-togethers. It goes with everything. And I love her! Like, oh my gosh, like she fits so, so like kind of cool and casual but also can be dressed up or down looks good with a more feminine flowy type beat but also you can look really edgy and cool i just feel like this jacket has been with me through a lot of style changes it was only five dollars and i've been wanting a jean jacket for so long and this one found me and we've been married ever since. Uh, basically, I did not start collecting until sophomore year, and this was the first piece of outerwear that I love. I can wear a little hoodie underneath. I can, I can do a little this. I can do a little. And black denim goes with everything. I really wear this everywhere. And you never know what you'll find. I keep things in this pocket specifically. Year old caramel apple puff and probably $7. Literally needs zero introduction. The the white leather triangular panel, like, details, this paneling. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Like, the coolest. I got a lot of these jackets in Paris. After I went to Paris, I never bought another jacket again. All the stores were closed. But I ran into this open air vintage market and I tried this on because it was hanging right there on the tent. And the person was like, oh, c'est belle, no? And I was like, oui. He's like, oh, so you're American? And I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. I was very shy about my French and language learning at the time, but that's a whole other story. I was out looking for like, you know, just a standard blue denim jacket because I had this one, but I wanted a blue one and I wanted one that was straight and less like this, you know, and more like this. But then I found this. Like, come on. The memories associated with this jacket are very dear to me. I met a lot of nice people wearing this jacket. I wore this in Barcelona, I wore this in London. I love it. <laughs> like, second grade guest reader that comes into class. You know when they come into class and they have little puppets and then they read the story and they like act out the you, did you ever have that? So Velcro the puppets onto the Velcro backdrop to create the story. That's the energy that this jacket gives me. I just feel very like, like, let me point you to the craft section. It's just this oversized blazer and the material. I once wore this with like some orange pants and a yellow top and it was giving me number, what was her name? I wore this when I was performing my song Sunshine. So I wore this jacket. I think I was actually wearing that outfit. So this jacket reminds me of my song Sunshine. Whenever I go thrifting, fashion tip. Whenever I go thrifting, I haven't been thrifting in a year, but I kind of go through and I feel the fabric. And if the fabric feels and looks nice, then I will pay attention to it and try it on and see how it goes. I don't even know what this is called. Suede? It's not suede, that's suede. I don't know what this is, but I love it. The color is just so rich and I just feel happy. Like this, I love her. I feel like a plant. This jacket, ugh, God, I love it. I got it from a, what was it called? I'll put it right here. 
I got it from this thrift store in Monterey when I was there for a three week program. I feel so at home in this jacket because I wore it. I wore it out while we were gallivanting at Big Sur. I wore this when I got my car. I wore this camping. I wore this on the beach. I wear this anywhere that I need to just be snuggly and warm and I really love everything about it. It's like, it just has such a unique pattern. Really well made. Like it's so warm, but it feels, it just feels like I'm wearing a blanket. Also just unlike anything else that I own, this jacket is definitely a friend. But we're now moving into jackets that I hope I can grow to wear out more. You know what I mean? They fit me perfectly, but the energy I need to wear them day to day, I will acquire it over time. Look at this. Like, far more structured than anything that I have shown you previously. Far more tailored, shoulders, waist, appropriate length and sleeve length. Like, I feel very... I'm on the case. I wore this the day that Map of the Soul Persona came out. I wore bright pink lipstick, I wore blue eyeliner, I wore this jacket. That was a good day. This reflects more so a person that I wanted to be than a person that I was. Well, these like remind me of exactly the kind of vibes that I had at the time. This like reflects more of what was inside my head. Like I want to look more mature. I want to look more grown. I want to be in a place in my life where I wear these kinds of jackets, you know? This was like, what, 30 euros? Oh my God. For this real Italian leather, like... Made in Italy, handmade in Florence. It's far cooler than me. Let's be real. Like, I'm cool, but I'm not that cool. You know, like, I'm very, I'm very cool. But this jacket is, like, very cool. This jacket's so cursed. She smells like old leather, like vintage, musty, dusty, but she wins. She, I... I I mean, I think that I could get into a place in my life where I can wear this, where I'm living somewhere where the climate is appropriate to wearing this quilted leather biker jacket, which I don't need in the Bay Area of California. Got this at a vintage store. Don't, don't fall for it. I convinced myself to buy this. I love it. I love that I own it now. But like... I didn't need to spend all that money. But this is like definitely something that I like passed down to someone and like it's so like, come on. Like this is so out of my league. <laughs> Let's see, the brand is Merriam, trademark, high leather quality export. <laughs> so cool. I think I got it from Sabres. Okay, look. Right, denim, fur. I'm a cool girl. Then, I become a cooler girl. It's two jackets in one. It's literally, and I know it's reversible because this side also has pockets. Not only am I really cool, but my neck is also really warm. The two in one deal, you just can't, it just can't be. I'm thinking of giving this as a gift to someone because I don't wear it often. Someone that lives in a colder climate. I don't have any fond memories with this because it's never been cold enough for me to wear it. This one, we're back in the friends category. For the formals, I wore it as an outer coat. It's suede. It's huge, so I wear entire four other layers underneath. I used to wear it a lot whenever I was biking at night. So I would throw on my sweater and then put this on top to like block the wind. Like I would like bike through campus and it kept me so warm and it kept me looking really cool. Yeah, these two are girlfriends. These two jackets, it's like if I want something light, I'll wear this. If I want something dark, I'll wear this. This is the age of me really liking bulky silhouettes. Kind of just like shrinking myself down into a lot of fabric. Um, yeah, this jacket makes me feel like a teddy bear, and undergrad would not have been the same without it. Let's just say that. This jacket has the exact same energy as my red and black one. I want to be this. I want to be this. I want to be this corset bodice. Like, oh my god. Like... It's a tassel jacket. It has inside pockets, red lining. To be fair, I've never worn this at school because it doesn't fit well with a backpack. This shows just how cool I wanna be. And I know that one day in the future, I'm gonna be really happy that I own this because it's gonna be the perfect piece to just pull out and wear out on the town. <laughs> 
jacket kept me so dry and warm during my study abroad. I bought this before going because I knew I needed a warm jacket and I just felt so grown with my little boots and this little like wool pea coat. I just, so this jacket reminds me of art museums and leather boots and just walking around. It's not anything really special, but it is an essential. This hood also zips off when you need it to, which is really nice if you don't want this giant purdle shell on you. It's just cute, you know? Oh, wow. My dad got me this jacket. And honestly, thank God he did because I wouldn't have bought it for myself. As you can see, I've never bought a well-fitting jacket that I regularly wear for myself. I don't know why, but this makes me look so good and like put together and like 21 years old, maybe even 22. And I'm so glad that I own it. I wore it on New Year's last year. Fond memory that I have of it. It's just nice being gifted a jacket and it's like, the perfect in-between of all these jackets that I own that I don't wear yet and these that are like ultimate comfort. This is like the, the perfect middle to that. It's just a good thing to own. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> this one was my favorite jacket that I bought in Paris. I was walking around, I was listening to the new 1975 album, Brief Inquiry, like when it first came out, and I decided like that day I was gonna go walking around the Marais and I was gonna be like very, gonna go vintage shopping. And I found this, and it is so... <sighs> On my last day, I went out to the Eiffel Tower and like took pictures. I wore like a really cute outfit, and this jacket was included. And so this jacket just reminds me of that. Like it reminds me of being able to sit on the sand and enjoy my time by myself and wear cute clothing that I don't necessarily wear in the suburbs of California. It's very detective, very lawyer, very Parisian, very... And when you're walking, it just makes you kind of, you can hear and you're most likely wearing high-heeled boots. You can not only hear the click of your heels, but also just the swaying of the fabric. We... Uh. So it makes me feel good, and I'm happy to own it. This last one is absurd. Oh, it still has a price tag on it. This is absurd. It's a fake... It's faux. Yeah, this jacket's ridiculous. Am I gonna put it in the video? Okay. Anyway, so that's all of them. I love these so much. I love them because I don't know if this collection's gonna grow. I mean, I'll buy more jackets, but I'm never gonna, like, I could think of things, like pieces that I might want, but like, I feel like this covers the gambit. I feel like I have so many different kinds of things to wear for different occasions. There are some that aren't in this video. I'm just so happy with the ones that I own. And every single jacket reminds me of a version of myself, whether it's a version of myself that I was or a version of myself that I wanted to be in fashion and style and dressing up is a great way to reflect like what's on your inside on your outside. And I'm definitely someone that dresses more for comfort and outerwear is definitely the way that I branch out more. So yeah, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like. Honestly, leave a comment. It makes me feel really happy. You don't have to, but I mean, and also, subscribe if you wanna see more videos. I'm excited to make more videos like this in the future that are fun, but it will always have a little touch of sap in there. So if you like that sap, Hit the subscribe button. Okay, I'm just gonna go. I love you. I forgot to ask you how you were. How are you doing today? Amazing. I am so happy to hear it. I love you. You are important and valuable. You're deserving to have good things, to have fun, to express yourself. And yeah, I hope that this was just a little light in your week. I love you. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you on Monday and I'll see you on Friday. Goodbye. <laughs> I just figured that I've been talking about my feelings a lot. I'm one month deep into the channel and I don't want to get trapped into feeling like I need to share everything. And there are going to be some weeks where I just want to have fun on the internet. So we're going to start with this and moving on. Honestly, people who film these kinds of videos are so brave and so strong 